Guys, from Bible times, uh, we have two stories, especially those of us who believe in the Bible. We have uh, people who were involved in uh, sibling library. We have Jacob and Esau in the Bible, in the Old Testament, for those who believe in the Bible. And also, we have the first, uh, especially in the story of the creation, we have Abel and Cain, and one of them killed the other one. And especially when you look at the story of Esau and uh, Jacob, you, you find how the parents were divided on, uh, on their kids. So most of the sibling, sibling uh, rivalry is caused by the parents, and uh, it is high time we always understand on how to handle it. So what is sibling rivalry? It refers to the competitive, uh, jealous, or hostile feelings that exist between siblings. It is a common dynamic that occurs in the many families, especially in childhood, where siblings often compete for attention, uh, resources, and affection from their parents. So th there is uh, some competition, there is some jealous and also hostile feelings existing between the, the siblings. So, and uh, sibling uh, uh, library can take many forms and it can exhibit or it can be shown through this kind of uh, things like uh, fighting, teasing, name calling, and even physical aggression. It, it can be a result of many factors, including differences in personality, age, gender, and family dynamics. Sometimes sibling rivalry can be worsened by factors such as favorism, parental pressure, or the unequal uh, kind of uh, treatment. He doesn't show you the, the true pictures, what he always shows, you know. So I'm so offended. And um, one day I'll just pick my mind, you know. Yeah, for me, I'll never have love for him. I'm sorry, guys, to speak this, but I'm very offended, very offended, you know. He once brought police officers at my home. Welcome to Seta Talks channel. Guys, it is not very interesting when you see a lot of conflict, especially within family members. Uh, today I watched a very famous and a role model kind of a person in YouTube. And also how the guys are having uh, issues with the, with the, with the, other, the other brother over uh, issues which we, we don't know. And uh, sometimes we say the devil is a liar. But some things are just, uh, they, we just bring them over to get us into a lot of problems. And uh, conflict resolution, or what we call uh, uh, sibling library is very evident when I watch that video. So uh, let us always learn on how to solve differences, especially the small, smaller issues in the family setting. Uh, the brother was very bitter. I think I will find a video and also attach it here. You, are, you can advise and find and tell me if you are you, what will you do about that? So guys, we are not here to judge. Things happen, shit happens anyway. But uh, we need to be very careful on how we handle, especially our siblings and also uh, those people we love, especially those who are in the family. When From the expression of the video, the the presenter was very bitter the way he was presenting his his thing and obviously we could see uh, there are things which we can there's a body language which we can see and uh, which was not which is not very very fair so sibling rivalry is uh, all about this video and i want you to watch and uh, also learn something from there welcome guys channel Sitcha talks Kindly subscribe, give us a nice comment, and also uh, share with your friends. And I want to welcome you always to your to your channel. And if you have something special to share with us, what you want us to share in this channel, always we are ready. You can bring it on so that we share it the way you want it to be shared. Guys, welcome and welcome to our channel. Uh, kindly keep in the channel uh, and always enjoy. Thank you very much the complications of uh, sibling rivalry we have like things like increased stress 
because of constant fighting and bickering, they create a very stressful kind of environment within the family which can affect everyone's mood and well-being. And this affects also affects mostly the among the kids and also it can also affect also the parents. Number two, it can also as a complication, we have relationship uh, problems. Siblings who experience intense rivalry may have difficulty developing a positive, supportive relationship with each other. If the kids are in constant kind of fighting, so they have a relationship issue, they can't work very well as a, as a family or as a team. We also have what you call negative self-esteem. Children who feel they are constantly in competition with their siblings may experience negative self-esteem and feelings of the inadequacy. Number four, we have aggression. In some uh, cases, the siblings' rivalry may escalate into physical aggression or the kids now they can go into the kind of uh, uh, fighting. So, and when it becomes physical, it can be very harmful because the kids can get to harm each, harm each other and also affect also the way the parents can work effectively. And also another thing is parental stress. Uh, parents become stressed and overwhelmed when they're trying to manage sibling rivalry, which can affect their own well-being and their, and, uh, their ability to parents to work uh, effectively. As an, another complication, impact on the family dynamics. Sibling rivalry can disrupt the overall family dynamic and make it difficult for family members to enjoy or to come together and do something which can really bring, because family is supposed to be like a, a unit. So guys, it is important to address and manage sibling rivalry early on in order to prevent these complications from occurring. So parents can seek support from professionals when it is difficult for them to solve those uh, such kind of differences and uh, also our family therapists there are people who can also come in and help uh, uh, the, develop strategies for managing sibling level and promoting and for promoting uh, positive sibling uh, re uh, relationship in the family so it is always good to identify the problem where it is in that uh, the particular family and address it it starts from the parents so it is very difficult for that someone to assist because such kind of uh, rivalry when it goes now to the level where the people are adults, it brings other, other problems where because a family is considered as a unit, but uh, when there is that rivalry, you get that there is a, there's a lot of problems and they can't be, the people can't cooperate well in, in, in their own way and also manage the family well well. So it brings uh, the family to a very big challenge, especially when it comes to complication. Now the parents can't work well because they love their kids and the kids can't work well because they have differences difference within themselves and when one has ability even to help the others can't help or the the men have something to help one they can't help because of that kind of rivalry which is in the family so it is my wish and also it should be a wish that you wish that we have that uh, family unit and also avoid such conflicts in the family Parents, we found that the cause of this most of the time, you, they should be very careful and also seek help as much as possible and be fair as much as possible and also so that we overgrow the, that such kind of, uh, of things. Because we may say the devil has come to the family, but in, normally we, we, with this sibling level the thing is the one which brings a lot of problems in the family. Guys, welcome to our, our channel. Future Talks is your channel. We get to discuss uh, complicated things in a very simple way so that we get to understand and enjoy and also learn something very important. Guys, welcome to our next video. There are many factors which contribute to sibling rivalry or which can cause uh, sibling rivalry. Number one is differences in personality. Each child has a unique personality. That's what the parents should understand and the temperament. And these differences can sometimes lead to conflict and uh, competition. Another uh, cause which can bring about uh, the sibling library is uh, age differences. Especially children who are close in age may compete for attention and this one comes up about when you, the kids are born within a very short period of time so the other one feels that they are not, the other one is bringing competition or getting more attention from the parents from that person or from the other one. 
So there is that age difference thing which can bring about uh, the the library the differences. So age differences can be a problem. So they compete for attention at that age uh, because of their age, uh, resources, and parental approval. So that kind of the differences bring about the uh, they make the, the cause of the sibling rivalry. Another one is gender. Boys and girls may have different interests and abilities, which can lead to competition and comparisons. So, because of the perspective of things, the boys and the girls also get to observe things differently. So, this one can affect how uh, the kids and, and also compete for certain attention for, from their, their parents. Also, family dynamics, especially family stress, when family is under stress. These are common things which happen in a family setting. You may get that uh, now there is that uh, rivalry which comes about. Uh, because of the family dynamics, some 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 uh, some kids may feel they, they are more favored with the family meager resources, and also because of the financial difficulties and other exter external uh, conflict or factors, the con the extension and also conflict within the family. Also, there is a uh, parental behavior, maybe the cause of the sibling uh, rivalry, especially uh, parents who show uh, uh, favoritism and also or treat their children. Differently may create resentment and jealousy among siblings. Another cause of that is uh, the key, the birth order. The birth order, the way the kids are born in the family. Older children may feel threatened by younger siblings, while younger children may, be, may feel overlooked or overshadowed by the older siblings. Another uh, cause which may also bring about this is about uh, uh, sibling uh, relationship history. Especially past conflicts, rivalries can create a pattern of negative interactions and resentments that persist uh, over time. So uh, it's very important that you understand the underlying causes of sibling rivalry that can help parents to address the issue. Especially this issue is well addressed with the parents about the, the sibling rivalry. So that yeah, the, the parents work to, uh, on the issue and work towards building a positive and supportive relationship between the, their children by recognizing and addressing these factors parents can help reduce competition and conflict uh, more uh, in more harmonious uh, family kind of uh, environment Hello guys welcome to our video future talks is your channel understanding the underlying causes of sibling library can help parents to address the issue and work towards uh, building positive and supportive relationship between their children. By recognizing and addressing these factors, parents can help to reduce competition and conflict and create more harmonious family environment. Welcome guys. Welcome to our video. Seacher Talks is your channel. Understanding the underlying causes of sibling library can help parents to address the issue and work towards building positive and a supportive relationship between their children. By recognizing and addressing these factors, parents can help reduce competition and conflict and create a more harmonious family environment. Constructing construction at my grandpa's place, you saw I was, uh, people they were against me. True story, you know, people they were against me. So for me, I decided just to go what I believe in, you know, and also I'm not underage. Soon I'll be getting a family. <laughs> so for me, I just do my things at my own pace. And one of the things that I really, really appreciate about my uncle, my uncle, uh, he's kind of polite. My uncle, he's kind of polite. Um, why am I saying this? My, I, my uncle is kind of polite because at times uh, people can call him names on public saying that he's lazy. But for me, guys, I can't tolerate such a thing. I can't tolerate such a thing, you know, because I have the voice, you know, I can't tolerate such a thing. And for me, <laughs> somebody can't mention my name anyhow because uh, I'll respond. That's how I am, just to speak my mind, you know. So my uncle is kind of polite. He can just see things going on like that, you know. But 
I really appreciate him and for me I have to support him because he's like a brother to me you know he's like a brother to me in which um, my bond with him will be forever you know yeah that's how so, it is and for me guys I'll never never have love to somebody who always show me crazy things who always bullies me outside the camera but he can't show you the reality you know I'll never have love to such a person he bullies me from uh, outside the camera off camera I mean but he can't show you like what's going on the person can film my video but when uh, when he sees me or something he hides the camera so he can't like you know what I'm getting and also for me, I'll never have love to such a guy who bullies me, but he can't show. But on camera, he's a different person. For for me, I said no to such to such character traits. I'll just be who I am, you know. Yeah, guys. Sorry, guys. At times, uh, this video for me, I've seen God uh, on my side, especially when people really criticized me. They were saying. Uh, we are disassociating from David Jr. <laughs> That's when like doors really open because I got many friends when people said we are officially disassociating with David Jr. So people came out. I really made friends. Um, yeah, guys, for me, I'm just grateful. But I thank my mom so much. She has never sidelined me and um, yeah, my mom, she has been my guiding star. Since day one, even uh, at the university, my mom always gives me calls and stuff. So my mom, she has been my guiding star all through, in which I'm forever grateful. I said no to crazy behavior. I said no to being controlled, you know. <laughs> when I didn't have a say, I used to be controlled too much, you know, even uploading videos, I could uh, put a video and directly I could get a call there by there. But right now I'm doing my thing at my own pace, and which is a good thing. And for me, you have to understand, guys, eh? I've been building myself from less than 10,000 subscribers. The journey is self-made. Never anybody come on social media to tell you, like, it's me who... Because of me, David Juni is there. No, 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 no. David Juni is self-made. Eh? From less than 10,000 subscribers. That's the fact, you know. So, let nobody come here and say stuff and stuff. So, this is uh, our Sukuma Wiki or Kills. This is how they are. This is how they are, you know. You people, you've been amazing. You've been amazing since day one, you know. And I love the fact that you people, you can see by yourself, you know, the good side. Not anybody telling you, me, I'm not in this story, you know. Yeah, guys, I really appreciate you because you never listen to other people how they say, you know. Me, I'm just happy for that because people are supporting us unconditionally despite other people they are criticizing me they are saying they are disassociating with me that's pure madness and thank you all for supporting my uncle and for me i feel like if um if i couldn't make the decision the sacrifice of going out of my comfort zone not listening to people even uh the house that we've already constructed for my uncle it couldn't be there that's a true fact you know even my grandpa's place if i couldn't say no to bullying you know it couldn't be there and that's the fact i'm grateful the person just went a few days there to see my grandpa and he recognized the good work i did in which is a for me i just said oh that's how god works in a miraculous way you know yeah, guys, at times I'm very, very emotional just to see somebody kind of to control people who are trying to do their work. I feel so bad, but I thank God I have a platform where I can speak by myself without um, 
without any contradiction, you know. And that's how David Junior is. I went to school properly just to to know how to speak my mind, you know. Somebody coming on social media just to call my uncle lazy, that is a kind of disrespect, you know. He's a brother to my mom, and I felt really, really bad. For me, being a last born in the family, somebody who used to even cook for us, you know, something, sometimes, like, I feel kind of offended, you know. But all in all, I feel like even crying, but for me, I'll just keep doing my thing. And for me, like, I have nothing to lose. I have nothing to lose. I have nothing to lose, you know. Yeah. You people don't know what's going on off camera, but one day I'll just speak myself, you know. But for me, I'll never have love somebody who even lied. Guys, you know, I was once, um, I will never have love to somebody who lied and brought police officers to me and I got arrested simply because he said I've uh, cracked my sister's laptop, you know. Yeah, he once lied to police officers here and I got arrested. He knows that. My sister's laptop, which is D. Mwango's laptop, it cracked a uh, long time ago he bought from South Africa, but because we differ in opinions, he brought police officers. If I'm not lying, go on his, uh, his um, comment section on videos. Go ask him. Even one day, I'll just uh, do a video with my parents and I mean my mom and my dad so that they can react. That's a crazy guy in which I'll never have love for him, you know? Yeah. I'm so emotional, guys, at times. You don't know what's happening off camera, but only God knows, only God knows. You know, I've been going through a lot, especially even uh, constructing my uncle's house. At times, uh, it's very difficult. Like for me, being a, a university, yeah. For me, that's a fake guy, you know? He doesn't tell you the reality. He doesn't tell you the reality. He always calls other people fake, but that's the reality. That's real. And uh, I'm on camera, and uh, I'm just saying this, you know? I'm just saying this. That guy once brought uh, police officers on uh, because I differed with uh, him some opinions. He said I cracked my sister's laptop. Even I have the receipts, you know? So he doesn't show you the, the true pictures, what he always shows, you know? So I'm so offended. And um, one day I'll just speak my mind, you know? Yeah, for me, I'll never have love for him. I'm sorry guys to speak this, but I'm very offended, very offended, you know? He once brought police officers at my home and he lied, I cracked my sister's laptop, so. Is somebody just divide and rule, divide and rule. And for me, I'll never have love for him.